Wouldn't you like to just lay down and forget about all this? Leave it all behind. What is this? Some ridiculous ploy to get me to let down my guard? Resist. You must resist. Else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on without you. Hello, Duncan. Ah, there you are. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Wait, you're supposed to be dead. Dead? Me? <laughs> I have been close many times, but I never quite made it all the way. I just wanted to make sure you were happy here in Weissopt. These grand halls were built by the first Grey Wardens. Isn't it breathtaking? Why are we here? Shouldn't we be battling the Darkspawn? The Darkspawn are gone, remember? You were there in the last great battle. It was a triumph for all of us. Bringing down the Archdemon and setting the underground lairs ablaze. I don't think that's possible. You're hiding something from me. Foolish child. I have given you so much and you cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? You offer complacency, not peace. It seems only war and death will satisfy you. So be it. Have your war and your dark spawn. May they be your doom. Take his head off. Who are you? Where did you come from? Are you a demon? No. I see that you're not. You're like me. Congratulations on getting out of that trap. Of course I did. I thought I'd escape too, but I've been wandering these empty grey spaces for a lifetime. Who are you? My name is Njal. I was trying to save the Circle when I encountered the Sloth Demon. I expect our experiences were similar. Njal, Owain mentioned you. Owain helped me greatly. I suppose I'll never be able to repay him. Litany was our weapon against the Blood Mage's domination. But it's too late. Everyone's dead. Why are there so many fucking blood mages here? I don't know. They must have been practicing in secret, even teaching others. I knew these people, trusted them. The litany was our only hope of saving the circle. But now, this place drains you of everything. Hope, feeling, life. We'll find a way out of here. No, there is no way out of here. You think there might be, but you'd be wrong. You see that pedestal there? I've studied the runes on it. Runes that signify different islands of the Sloth Demon's domain. The Sloth Demon itself is on the center island, but you can't get there. The five islands around the center somehow form a protective ward. I thought I was getting somewhere when I figured that out, and I went to each island in turn only to have my hopes dashed. There's always an obstacle. You'll see the path, but be unable to get to it. And it taunts you and drives you mad. What do you know about this sloth demon? Not much. You couldn't say we were friends, really. Demons have their own hierarchies. They play their own games, and mortals serve as... pawns. Perhaps even bargaining chips. The demon keeping us here probably rules this entire section of the Fade. It'll not let us go easily, if at all. Then we're just gonna have to kill this fucking demon. Off you go then. Save the world. Tell me about that protective ward you mentioned. I don't know much. I... Uh, I think the sloth demon has placed lesser demons on each of the islands. I've seen them. 
They take different shapes, but they're there. Defeating them may be the only way to reach the Sloth Demon. But you have to get to them first. I... I couldn't. I was too afraid to try. What are these obstacles you mentioned? Yes. Obstacles and mad dream things. A river of flame before a portal, or a, a door that shows you freedom through a keyhole that no key will fit. I once found a passageway smaller than my hand with a mouse going to and fro through it. Silly thing fled before I could question it. Why would you question a mouse? Because almost everyone here is a dreamer. Except for the spirits and the demons, I suppose. Each dreamer may know things another may not. The mouse could have told me what lay beyond the tiny passage or how to get there. Even how I might make myself small like him and crawl through myself. And if one could become small enough to take one path, perhaps there are similar ways to walk the others. Could my companions be on some of the other islands? I... I don't know. There are many dreamers. You might find a way to reach them through the island. If you're lucky. I'll be back if I need you. Don't mind me then. No quarter shall be given. It's a fine thing we've done. What? Thank you, but too late for me. Kill Yavina, the demoness that rules here. She protects her master, Sloth. There's a door. A door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. Take my power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my... Ugh. The rat died. Or should I say mouse? Too large to use this. Okay. I turn into a mouse. Squeak, squeak. Missed. Anybody else want to try it? Something happened, didn't it? You look a little different. What happened? I turned into a mouse. Did you? Did it help? I know I saw the tiny holes. Were you small enough to get through? I thought you'd given up. Why so excited? I... I don't know. You're so much braver than I am. Yep. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Nope. Do you think you could learn other shapes? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise. Okay. We must fight for the good trick. They're gone. You, you did it. You killed them, but not all. Their leaders are behind the unbreakable door. I give you my wisdom. It will let you see. And now I wake. Okay. Ah, yes. In this form, I can interact with these things. Take Ragos' power. Use it and burn him. Burn them all. He guards Sloth. He bars the way. You must destroy the door. Other dreamers. Other powers. Only way. Right. Now I have this. 
I am on fire, and I'm immune to fire as a result. Country priests. Okay. Okay. Help me, please. Thank you. It is time for this dream to come to an end. Yep. I give you my strength. It will be of little use against the demon that rules here, but perhaps it will help in other realms. Find a way to kill all the demon lords to open the way to sloth. Free us all from this nightmare. Okay. Ah! Now I have the golem. <laughs> I think I saw him flinch that time. Maybe we'll make you scream yet, apprentice. We're not going to go easy on you. Trust me. No, I wouldn't want you to hold back. I'd be disappointed if you did. This one has spirit. It's a shame we have to break him. Stop whatever the fuck you're doing. What? What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Snap out of it, you idiot. This is a dream. I... I can't. I need to stay strong. This is my test. I'm going to be a crow. I need to show them I can tolerate pain. You don't have to. They're demons. Can't you see it? What? Oh, that cannot be. And yet... You, you speak the truth. I can feel it. Is this nothing but a bad dream? A bad memory? Oh, I think he's questioning us. That's a very, very bad thing to do, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. He will be punished for that. Severely punished. Okay, time for you to die. Okay, they're dead. Well, that was bracing. Ah, there's nothing like a good racking, is there? Hmm. What are you doing? What are you going? Ah, oh, shit. Maker, forgive me. I failed them all. They died and I did not stop it. What's all this shit? Death. Can you not see it? It's all around us. Pull yourself together or this is going to get worse. Why was I spared? If not to help them, what use is my life? Now that I have failed in the task that was given me, leave me to my grief. I shall bury their bones, scatter their ashes to the four winds, and mourn their passing till I too am dead. This is getting fucking morbid. Your blatant disregard for the souls of the dead strikes me as being utterly inappropriate. Falling apart like this doesn't seem like you. You do not know me. You have no right to make such judgments. Can't you tell this is just a fade, a dream? You're a mage, aren't you? The fade? I have not considered that. I have always had an affinity for the fade and... I would assume I would be able to recognize it. It is difficult to focus. It feels as though something is stopping me from concentrating. I've never had so much trouble. Perhaps some time away from this place will help me think clearly. Great, all that weeping was getting irritating. Don't leave us, Gwyn. We don't want to be alone. Holy Maker. Stay away, foul creature! More demons to kill, it seems. Stay win. Sleep soundly in the comforting embrace of the Earth. Do not fight it. You belong here with us. 
No, no, not yet. My task is not yet done. It is not time yet. Come. Come away to your rest. Any more? Is it over? Thank the Maker for you. Wait, what's happening? Where are you going? Ah, shit, not again. Uh, the Keeper be sleepy. Yeah, gonna shake him awake. Woof, woof. What did you do? I felt something. Like the earth was shifting. <laughs> it probably wasn't the earth. I killed the demons on the islands. You did? You managed to get to it. I... I didn't think it was possible. Killing that demon must have opened something. Perhaps... Perhaps the pieces are falling into place now. What do you know about the Litany of Adrala? Not much. I know that it stops blood mages from taking over your mind. I don't even know who or what Adrala is. You're better off asking someone more knowledgeable. So are the blood mages responsible for all this shit? Aldred is the mastermind behind it all. At Aldred's suggestion, the Circle was about to ally itself with Loghain when the Tern's treachery was revealed. Aldred made excuses, but we were having none of it. He panicked then, tried to leave. Irving would not let him. And what then? I was barely paying attention. Such meetings are boring. The course of action usually decided before we even congregate. But how did all the shit start? Aldred let loose a bolt of energy that flung us all against the far wall. That woke me up. It might have been a signal. That was when a whole group of mages poured into the chamber. And that was when I saw real blood magic in action for the first time in my life. It was like they brought the wrath of the Maker himself down upon our heads. But where did the abominations come from? I was just getting to that. Aldred must have also dabbled in demonology. When the fighting started, he tried to summon something. Uh, some things. They overwhelmed him, and when his screaming stopped, Aldred was... gone. Well, that sounds pretty fucked up. I'm sure he wishes he were dead. Aldred became an abomination. And when I saw it, I ran for my life. I've fought an abomination before. Oh, have you? I doubt you've seen anything like this before. Aldred is a powerful mage possessed by a mad thing that cares not a whit for human life. The abomination you met cannot compare to him. I gathered some of my fellows and we obtained the litany from the stockroom. I thought if we disabled the others we could throw everything we had at Aldred. But I saw my friends fall, one by one. And now it's my turn. I'm not gonna die in here, there's gotta be a way out. I don't want it to end like this. Do you feel it? It's getting so cold. What do we have here? A rebellious minion? An escaped slave? <laughs> <sighs> my, my. But you do have some gall. But playtime is over. You all have to go back now. How did I get here? What happened to all those luscious wood nymphs? <laughs> you will not hold us, demon. We found each other in this place, and you cannot stand against us. If you go back quietly, I'll do better this time. <laughs> I'll make you much happier. I don't want anything you offer. I made you happy and safe. 
I gave you peace. I did my best for you. And you say you want to leave? Can't you think about someone other than yourself? I'm hurt. So very, very hurt. Oh, you're gonna get hurt pretty damn soon. You wish to battle me? So be it. You will learn to bow to your betters, mortal. Let us do it quick. Yeah, that's it. Knock me down. I'm just gonna hit you even more. How many different fucking forms do you have? Yes, you are able to do something now. Okay. Oh yeah, she's about to heal. Yeah, I killed it. You defeated the demon. I never thought of, I never expected you to free yourself. To free us both. When you return, I take the litany of Adrala from my body. It will protect you from the worst of the blood magic. What do you mean, your body? I cannot go with you. I have been here far too long. For you, it would have been an afternoon's nap. Your body won't have wasted away in the real world while your spirit lays in the hands of a demon. What are you babbling about? Every minute I was here, the sloth demon was feeding off of me. Using my life to fuel the nightmares of this realm. There is so little of me left. I was never meant to save the circle or survive its troubles. I am dying. It is as simple as that. Then I should get out of here quickly then. It is time for us both to be on our way. Remember the litany of Adrala. The circle is all that matters now. Thank you and goodbye, friend. Hmm. Yep, demon's dead. Niall's body. Take the litany.
keep track of where the combat was. This trick again? I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. Yeah, that ain't gonna do shit. The boy is exhausted. And this cage, uh, I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Uh, enough visions. If anything in you is human, uh, kill me now and stop this game. You broke the others, but I will stay strong for my sake. For theirs. Filthy blood mages getting in my head. Ah! Uh, I will not break. I'd rather die. Snap out of it. I got no time for this bullshit. Silence! I'll not listen to anything you say. Now be gone! Still here. But that's always worked before. I close my eyes, but you are still here when I open them. I'm not an illusion, if that's what you mean. Don't blame me for being cautious. The voices, the, the image is so real. Did Gregor send you? How? How did you get here? Yeah, Gregor sent me. Kind of. Good. Kill Aldred. Kill them all for what they've done. They caged us like animals. Looked for ways to break us. I'm the only one left. They turned some into monsters and... Oh, there was nothing I could do. Where's Irving on all the others? What others? What are you talking about? Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred. Where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sounds coming up from there. Oh, Maker. We must hurry. They are in grave danger, I am sure of it. You can't save them! You don't know what they've become. Oh, and you do? They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. You have to end it now, before it's too late. And what do you suggest? To ensure this horror is ended. To guarantee that no abominations or blood mages live. You must kill everyone up there. I'm not going to decide until I get up there. That is your choice to make, but I beg you to consider what I have to say. You cannot tell Maleficarum by sight. Just one could influence the mind of a king, of a grand cleric. I don't fear any of those blood mages. They should fear me. You may be confident in your ability to stand up to them, but what about the rest of us? Will you protect us from them? You stay here. It'll be over soon. No one ever listens. Not until it's far too late. Make her turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. Do you accept the gift that I offer? Oh. Uh. 